Are you lonely? Tumbleweed, place is full of bad. I'll join you for a while. Yeah, yeah like that it used to be true. around here. Terrible undertaker. Really? I ain't afraid of you. I call. He's bluffing. Things will only get worse around here if that Nate Johns becomes the governor. Are we gonna be men about this? Wake me up when you fancy playing. We're said to be having relations. Well, I've heard different. Too much for me. I'll call. What do you know? The marshal may as well hand okay. I'll the place a bet. I'll raise you. Oh, Hell, I'll take that. Ain't you aggressive, partner? Ooh, I'm gonna buy a new iron with these winnings. I call. I am gonna stay away from old Ma Fowler's laxative powders from now. You can't win them all. Here we go. That's enough for me. I need to get for that scalp preserver. How good it is to see Think I'm gonna call. Hell with this, I fold. Check. Hmm. Hmm. Sure could have used that last hand. you hey. the saloon's a great place to get to know everyone I'm gonna call it I'm looking a little hog tied the derby is going to be next week really when Walton's gang came by robbing and killing okay then reason, I'll place a bet I'm going to fold. Is that so? Till next time, I have pressing business. Goodbye, Fred. Goodbye. Damn, if you ain't cute as hell. I steer clear of Pleasant's house if I was. I can live up that way. I'm getting headache just hearing about it.
No. Well, there's something odd about that Jeff Murphy. I'm calling. You ain't much fun. Hell, I'll take that. I see the way he looks to my wife. Those tumbleweed farmers are always looking for the Uh huh. I'm going to check. Not bad. Maybe. Can't win them all. That's enough for me. Call you. Your choice, my friend. What do you know? Sure, I'll gamble. Hell with this, I'm bold. I'm gonna court Miss Nitz. Believe you me. Too much for me. I'll check. I'm gonna fold. Time to get down to brass tacks. <laughs> Think I'll check. Hmm. I'm gonna call it. Ooh, I'm gonna buy a new iron with these winnings. That's more like it. I think I'll raise. I'm done.
Guess I'm folding. I check. Not bad. Maybe. I know your game. We got ourselves a tough guy. Think I'm gonna call. I'm looking a little hog tied. Bet. I'll check. Hell with this, I fold. Call you. Okay, I'll place a bet. And I'll raise you. Hope my luck turns next hand. Call. Hey, you real brave. I call. Hmm. Sure could have used that last hand. No thanks. Hmm. Bet. Ain't you mighty angry. Thought I had that one in the bag. I'll call. I'm gonna raise that. I 
I'm in. I'm going to call it. I'm coming off the rim rock. Fold. Fair enough. Check. I need to write my mother back in the home. Well played, sir. Count me in. Fold. All right, I see. I'm going to check. Damn. I'll call that. I think I'll check. I like it. I'm calling. Your choice, my friend. I check. You're in. Good. I think I'm gonna call.
Okay, then. I'll place a bet. Boring. I'll check. Can't win them all. Too much for me. Call you. It's no fun if you don't ever bet. I just ain't getting the card. No, I'm out. I see you fancy your hand, sir. Interesting. Gonna be men about this. Marshall was sure looking edgy this morning. I'm gonna say so. I serve you, brother. You are not serving your creator. But Ain't you aggressive? But think hallelujah. Raise you. I'm in. Then so. Here goes. All in. I call. That was fun, gentlemen.
Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Oh, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This ain't nothing to do with you. Who wants me next? A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. Let's see what you got. Mount up, will you, before I change my mind. <laughs> it's too far to walk. Mount up, fella. This is turning into a hell of a day. Come on. You don't seem too upset about your friends getting killed. Come! Let's go, Johnny. Rattle your hop. So how do you know that swindling charlatan West Dickens? I made the mistake of saving his life. Getting to be a bad habit of mine. Come on, do you want this gun or not? Are you a foreign man? What? What are you doing back there? I'm gonna have to rest the old lungs for a bit, pal. Hidden ground takes it out of a pillar. Not for now. The team and bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their. That is that. Work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Whoa there. We ain't welcome here, mister. I got my eye back. You best 
shoot me now or this is over! Can I have this? It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Saving my life. Take whatever you want from my kid. Rest in peace, my friend. I wasn't gonna just leave you there to die.
This is to pay a fine in my name. You better go straight now. I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. Uh. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as red. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. An Irish? 
I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along.
What you got on you, friend? Apologies, mister. Don't let go of her! She's a beast! now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way.
Come on. Easy up now. There we go. 